Okay, welcome to the video. So when you start painting more consistently, either it be one day a week or every couple of days, something like that, you start looking for a way to purchase paper and divide it up just so that it's a lot more economical than buying pads or blocks because they can be quite an expensive option in the long run. So what I do for myself these days is that I actually buy full sheets of watercolor paper. This is a full size Imperial, which is 76 by 56 centimeters. And it's pretty big. I, I've only painted on something like this twice. So it's not common for me to paint on a sheet of paper this large. And so for what I do is basically I just divide it up into four separate sheets or even eight smaller sheets. And um, I'll show you a really quick way. This is just how I divide it up. So this is Saunders Waterford 300 GSM. Doing it this way in Australia, it costs about $10 for a full sheet of this watercolor paper. So if I've divided up into four, that's about $2.50 a page. And what you do, just hold it over the, um, the little watermark. And as you can see here, this is in reverse. So basically, this is the back side of the paper. And what I'm gonna do is just mark it off with a pencil. So I'll just put a little B in each of the corners like that. And the reason I'm doing that is when we've divided it all up, then we're just gonna know which side's the front, which side's the back. So firstly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it over sideways and I'm gonna do it on the area, the side where you've got the back on. So reason why is that I don't want to get any of the oils and things on my hand on the actual painting surface if possible. So I'm just gonna fold that over like this and um, take extra care to get that um, fairly accurate. And just use your hands to press down in the middle like that. So that's going to form a very basic edge, but what I'm going to do now is use a little bit of plastic. You can find anything around your house. It could be the back edge of a, a knife or just a bit of plastic or something like that. And I'm just going to reinforce this edge a bit more. So press down. This is 300 GSM paper, so you're going to need to put a little bit of elbow grease into that. And just make sure that edge is defined better, like that. That should just about do it. And I've got a ruler here, got a metal ruler, use anything, use a book even. And what I'm gonna do is just pop that ruler in here. And what you wanna do is basically just pull the paper towards you and towards the ruler. So. Just do it like this and um, do it in sort of small bits as well. The paper is pretty thick so um, it does take a bit of convincing to get going. But just continue this process essentially all the way down until it's done. Okay. So now we've got two sheets, two half sheets, and we want to separate them out into two quarter sheets. So basically what I'm going to do is just divide this up once more. So again, just fold from the back side of the paper so that the back is indicated. There we go. And Where's my little clip? Just push down the edge further, like that. Okay. And same thing goes. It's gonna be a little bit easier. A smaller sheet of paper. And just pull towards yourself, like that. A couple there. And we'll do the last one now. And the reason why I like 
tearing it rather than cutting it is the edge just looks a little bit out of place if you cut it and also if you kind of deviate off the the line it really is quite obvious whereas if you tear it it almost matches up with some of these deckled uh, edges and you cannot tell the difference barely tell the difference anyway especially if it's framed no one's going to know and just doing the same thing just getting a crisp line in the corner okay and let's repeat the same process again pull towards yourself like that and there we have it we've got four quarter sheets of cotton watercolor paper all separated out so i really recommend this method if you are looking for a more economical way to paint and i know for some people it is difficult to get some good quality artist grade materials but this just makes it a little bit easier if you can afford to buy yourself a sheet of paper a sheet of full watercolor paper separated out you could even divide this up into eighths and do smaller landscape paintings on each one you know i've even made my own little sketchbooks in this sort of manner so you can divide that up again into four and then basically bind it together so lots of possibilities there i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any questions anything like that then please leave a comment i'll talk to you soon check out these tutorials down the side here i've got a couple of playlists that will help you get some ideas and improve your watercolors